A national human rights day celebrations will be taking place in Daar in the Northern Cape today. President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the keynote address under the theme consolidating and sustaining human rights culture into the future. The day aims to promote respect for basic human rights and for all and to restore human dignity in line with the Bill of Rights. However, residents of Daar in the Northern Cape say they have nothing to commemorate on Human Rights Day as they are still subjected to human rights violations, which include lack of housing and poor service delivery. Let's bring in SABC News reporter Ulrich Hendricks uh, for more on the story. A very good morning to you, Ulrich. What are residents saying in Daar in anticipation of this Human Rights Day celebration? Hi, good morning. Well, um, people are saying that Human Rights uh, Day is being celebrated. The president is coming to the R, of course, to 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 to, to um, you know lead the main celebrations here. But a lot of problems that are very evident here in the R. We've got a housing problem. We've got access to um, a health problem. They're complaining about access to primary and um, um, secondary health care, hospitals, clinics, etc. Also, a very big uh, switch pull that occurred here last month. Um, they're talking about that, the state of the roads. So a lot of um, uh, complaints about uh, certain rights to certain um, uh, very important um, uh, things that the, the, the residents here are complaining about. They're hoping, of course, that the President Ramaphosa will come here, see uh, the conditions and that he will direct the various provincial and local governments to basically um, uh, assist them um, to get access to those rights. Of course, um, the celebrations are expected to start in about two, two hours uh, at 11 o'clock and people have already started coming. I can see quite a, a, a nice jovial uh, mood prevailing here. A lot of school children coming in as well as well as residents uh, from, uh, from this area. Of course, as you can see, a number of them are of course, waving the South African flag. This is a national day, of course. Uh, and like, like I said, um, a lot of people hoping um, that while the president is here, that he will be able to, to look at the conditions uh, where they are, what they are doing, and then direct the various departments to do something to alleviate their plights. And of course, uh, the president is coming through uh, to speak. Do we, do we know what kind of, just in terms of the content of his speech in recognition of those unkept promises? Well, uh, you know, in terms of the provincial government, uh, we've not heard a lot uh, from the provincial government, specifically this area, in terms of uh, what they're going to do. The, the Premier, of course, w was here for the, uh, uh, yesterday and today, and, um, you know, um, residents complaining that they do um, talk to uh, the various municipalities and the provincial government, but in terms of um, um, uh, uh, you know, getting relief for, for, for those uh, various service level issues. They're hoping that the president will basically actually assist them uh, when he comes here and when he um, looks around uh, the Skaru town. Desiree? Yeah. Ulrich, uh, thank you so much for setting the scene for us.